Welcome everyone. Tonight as you find yourself in the quiet, sacred space before sleep, I want you to consider a simple act, a small ritual that holds an immense power. There are words you can say, words that should remain between you and the silence. Do not announce them, do not share them, for they are intended to shape the inner self, and they will work in secret to bring forth what you desire. Every word we utter is a seed planted in the rich soil of our subconscious. This soil does not discriminate between seeds of joy or seeds of sorrow. It only knows how to bring them to fruition. When you speak these words, speak them with conviction, with a feeling of reverence, as if you are shaping the very core of your being. Why keep them private? It is because this act is for you alone, a communion with your inner self. This is your time to lay a foundation that is undisturbed by the expectations or judgments of the outside world. In silence, the potency of words grows in silence. The soul hears and responds without interference. When you are on the verge of sleep, you enter a space between worlds, conscious and subconscious. In this in-between, say these words to yourself and feel their truth. They are no longer mere sounds or syllables, but are living, breathing promises that will take root in your heart and blossom into the life you envision. The power in these words is not in their repetition alone, but in the sincerity of your belief. Feel the words as if they are already true. See your life as if it already reflects this truth. For the secret of manifestation lies in feeling and knowing feeling what it's like to have your wish fulfilled, knowing it as an absolute reality. So as you close your eyes, let go of the noise of the day, sink into the warmth of your bed, into the darkness, and in the stillness speak to yourself. Hold these words close, let them be yours and yours alone. Feel their resonance within you and allow them to drift with you into the realm of sleep. And in the days to come, watch as this silent command begins to shape the world around you, answering in ways only you will understand. For what we say within ourselves in these private moments becomes the essence of the life we live. Speak quietly, believe fully, and you will see the reflection of your inner command take form. Inner speech, the silent dialogue we carry within, is a powerful force that shapes our subconscious belief in ways we may not always perceive. Every thought we nurture, every phrase we repeat to ourselves becomes a direct command to our subconscious molding our perceptions, emotions, and eventually our outer reality. Unlike the spoken word, which dissipates as soon as it is heard, inner speech embeds itself deeply, reverberating in the quiet spaces of our mind, constantly influencing how we see the world and ourselves. Imagine your inner speech as the artist and your subconscious as the canvas. Each word, every idea you silently affirm, is like a brushstroke that paints a unique vision of your identity and your place in the universe. When we repeatedly tell ourselves we are capable or that success is within our reach, the subconscious absorbs this as a directive. It begins to reorganize our beliefs, aligning with the narrative we create internally. This alignment fuels our actions and decisions, subtly steering us toward opportunities and choices that match our inner convictions. The subconscious, receptive and highly impressionable, does not analyze or question. It does not differentiate between truth and assumption, between reality and desire. It simply accepts whatever is impressed upon it. Therefore, when inner speech is laden with affirmations of self-doubt or fear, these negative impressions solidify, creating patterns of thought that lead to limitations and self-imposed barriers. On the other hand, positive inner speech elevates, creating beliefs that empower us and open doors we previously thought were closed. The magic of inner speech lies in its ability to bypass the conscious mind's defenses. Spoken words are often subject to scrutiny, but inner speech slips through without resistance, entering directly into the subconscious. This is why it's so important to cultivate a language of faith, hope and confidence within ourselves. Our quiet affirmations become the truths we live, subtly reprogramming our beliefs and strengthening our alignment with what we deeply desire. Inner speech is more than mere self-talk, it is a form of personal scripting that plays out in real life. The subconscious mind does not ignore the thoughts we whisper to ourselves, it listens, accepts, and begins to manifest these inner dialogues outwardly. 
as we learn to direct this inner speech consciously, we transform the foundation of our beliefs and ultimately our experience of life. Secrecy, when it comes to affirmations, creates a heightened sense of intimacy and personal power. When we hold our affirmations in silence, away from external opinions and judgments, they gain a unique strength, vibrating solely within us. There's a sacredness in this secrecy. It's a personal pact between ourselves and the universe, untouched by the doubts or misunderstandings of others. By keeping our affirmations private, we shield them from outside energy, allowing them to resonate purely within our own consciousness. This secrecy deepens our connection to the affirmation because it belongs to us and us alone. It becomes a hidden treasure we nurture, a quiet, growing belief that we cultivate without interference. In this private space, our minds can absorb and accept the affirmation more readily with no external voices casting doubt. Affirmations held in secrecy become potent, distilled into concentrated intentions that penetrate deeply into our subconscious. The mind perceives this act of keeping affirmations hidden as a sign of commitment and significance, reinforcing the belief that these words are essential truths. When we share affirmations with others, we inadvertently invite their perceptions, which can dilute our intention. Even the slightest expression of doubt or questioning from someone else can create ripples in our confidence. In secrecy, affirmations remain pure and undisturbed, untainted by external influence. This privacy also gives us the freedom to explore our desires and beliefs without inhibition, free from the need to justify or explain. It is in this unspoken space that the power of affirmations can work quietly, establishing a stronghold in our subconscious, influencing our actions, and ultimately shaping our reality. The beauty of secrecy lies in its ability to maintain the magic of the affirmation. We are reminded that this practice is a personal journey, one where the inner experience is far more impactful than anything shared outwardly. In silence, our affirmations sink deeply, aligning our inner world with the outcomes we wish to manifest. Secrecy transforms an affirmation from a simple phrase into a sacred, unbreakable promise to ourselves, preserving its strength, clarity, and ability to transform. The moments before sleep are a gateway to the subconscious mind, a precious time when we are most receptive to impressions and suggestions. As we drift from wakefulness to sleep, our conscious mind begins to quiet down, leaving the subconscious exposed and open, free from the filters and skepticism that usually guard it. In this state, statements, affirmations, or intentions we hold have a profound and undiluted impact, reaching the subconscious with remarkable depth. These last thoughts before sleep, like seeds planted in fertile soil, settle into the mind's deepest layers, ready to take root and grow into the patterns and beliefs that shape our lives. The subconscious mind doesn't sleep, it is constantly working, processing and absorbing the information we feed it. When we repeat statements before sleep, such as affirmations of peace, success or self-belief, the subconscious accepts these as truths, embedding them into the framework of our beliefs and attitudes. Unlike the conscious mind, which may analyze or challenge new ideas, the subconscious simply absorbs, shaping our reality based on what it has been told. This is why statements spoken with intention and conviction before sleep are so powerful they enter the mind unchallenged, free to influence and guide our behaviors, perceptions, and expectations. The practice of repeating statements before sleep also capitalizes on the natural transition from beta waves the active, waking state to theta and delta waves the deep, restorative stages of sleep. During this transition, the brain is exceptionally suggestible, almost like a blank canvas ready to accept whatever impression is laid upon it. The calm, relaxed state of pre-sleep primes the mind to internalize affirmations, allowing them to bypass conscious resistance and deeply penetrate the subconscious. These statements then echo within us throughout the night, aligning our inner beliefs with the goals we aspire to achieve. Furthermore, statements repeated before sleep can act as gentle guides that steer the subconscious throughout the dream state. Dreams are often the subconscious mind's way of processing emotions and unresolved thoughts, and when our last thoughts before sleep are positive, empowering, or centered around our intentions, the subconscious can use this as a framework for its nightly work. This subtle programming transforms our inner landscape helping us wake up with a sense of alignment, motivation, and clarity. 
The practice of saying statements before sleep is a way to harness the natural rhythms of the mind and influence our beliefs and attitudes at the deepest level. With each night we are effectively reshaping our perceptions and reinforcing a version of ourselves that is congruent with our highest aspirations. Over time this quiet ritual of pre-sleep affirmations becomes a powerful tool, seamlessly integrating our desires into our subconscious, guiding us closer to the life we envision. The words we say to ourselves in the privacy of our own minds have an incredible power to shape our external reality. Every thought, every self-directed phrase serves as an instruction to our subconscious which then influences the lens through which we perceive the world, the energy we emit and the actions we take. Our internal dialogue is in many ways the architect of our experience, crafting a framework of beliefs, assumptions and expectations that becomes the foundation upon which our life unfolds. When we repeatedly tell ourselves words of empowerment, hope and self-belief, we begin to cultivate an inner environment that is aligned with positive outcomes. These words transform into subconscious beliefs, subtly directing us to act with confidence, pursue opportunities, and respond with resilience in the face of challenges. Conversely, if our inner dialogue is dominated by doubt, fear, or self-criticism, our subconscious absorbs these as directives as well, creating a mental framework that holds us back, amplifying insecurities and limiting our potential. Essentially, the words we speak internally become self-fulfilling prophecies, influencing not just how we see the world, but how we participate in it. This phenomenon stems from the subconscious mind's role as a non-discriminating receiver. The subconscious does not evaluate or challenge the words we say internally, it accepts them as fact, weaving them into our sense of self and our reality. Over time, these internalized words form neural pathways in the brain, establishing patterns that reinforce whatever beliefs we are cultivating. If we tell ourselves that we are capable, worthy, and resilient, we strengthen those pathways, making it easier to act from a place of self-assurance. If instead we dwell on words of inadequacy or fear, we reinforce those as well, creating mental habits that keep us within the boundaries of limitation. When we repeatedly tell ourselves words of empowerment, hope, and self-belief, we begin to cultivate an inner environment that is aligned with positive outcomes. These words transform into subconscious beliefs, subtly directing us to act with confidence, pursue opportunities and respond with resilience in the face of challenges. Conversely, if our inner dialogue is dominated by doubt, fear or self-criticism, our subconscious absorbs these as directors as well, creating a mental framework that holds us back, amplifying insecurities and limiting our potential. Essentially, the words we speak internally become self-fulfilling prophecies, influencing not just how we see the world, but how we participate in it. This phenomenon stems from the subconscious mind's role as a non-discriminating receiver. The subconscious does not evaluate or challenge the words we say internally, it accepts them as fact, weaving them into our sense of self and our reality. Over time, these internalized words form neural pathways in the brain, establishing patterns that reinforce whatever beliefs we are cultivating. If we tell ourselves that we are capable, worthy, and resilient, we strengthen those pathways, making it easier to act from a place of self-assurance. If instead we dwell on words of inadequacy or fear, we reinforce those as well, creating mental habits that keep us within the boundaries of limitation. This internal dialogue also has an energetic effect. Every thought we hold has an emotional charge, an energy that we project outwardly. Positive, empowering words create a vibration of optimism and possibility that attracts similar energies into our lives. We begin to draw experiences, people, and opportunities that resonate with the belief in our own potential. On the other hand, negative self-talk creates an energy of doubt or resistance, which often repels the very things we desire or aligns us with experiences that affirm our fears. This energetic field, influenced by our words, interacts with others, subtly shaping our relationships, our work, and our personal growth. Our internal words serve as a foundation upon which we build habits, set goals, and interpret experiences. If we regularly affirm our ability to grow and learn, we are more likely to embrace challenges as opportunities. If we repeatedly tell ourselves that success is out of reach, we may hesitate, withdraw, or self-sabotage, confirming the limiting narrative we hold within. Over time, the words we choose to speak internally create the reality we live outwardly. 
By consciously shaping this dialogue, we gain the ability to transform our inner landscape, shifting the beliefs that govern us and ultimately crafting a reality that reflects our highest aspirations. Thus, our internal words are not just fleeting thoughts, they are the blueprint for our lives, the invisible architects of our experiences, waiting to bring forth what we consistently affirm within. As we begin to recognize this, we understand that by nurturing a positive, empowering inner dialogue, we are taking the most powerful step toward shaping a reality that mirrors the vision we hold for ourselves. Visualization and feeling are the dynamic forces at the heart of manifestation, each essential for turning our desires from thought into reality. Visualization is the act of creating a mental picture of what we want to experience a focused exercise that brings clarity to our intentions and makes them tangible within the mind. When we vividly imagine our goals down to the smallest details, we are essentially rehearsing them in our inner world, preparing the mind and body to accept these desires as achievable, even inevitable. Through visualization, we shift our consciousness, stepping into a reality where our desires already exist, aligning ourselves with the frequency of that experience. But visualization alone is not enough, it must be paired with feeling to activate its full power. Feeling is the emotional component that breathes life into our visions, transforming them from static images into lived experiences within the mind. When we add feeling, we are no longer just observing a desired outcome, we are embodying it. The subconscious mind, which governs so much of our behavior and responses, does not distinguish between imagined feelings and real experiences. So when we feel deeply, we signal to the subconscious that what we are visualizing is our reality, prompting it to adjust our beliefs, actions, and energy accordingly. This union of visualization and feeling engages the brain and body on multiple levels. Our brain's neurons fire as if the experience were already happening, creating neural pathways that reinforce our belief in its possibility. At the same time, our body responds to the emotions we invoke, releasing neurotransmitters and hormones that correspond to the feelings of joy, excitement or gratitude that we generate. This physical response further deepens the subconscious impression, anchoring our visualization as something real, something known. The more we practice this process, the stronger the neural and emotional patterns become, creating a habit of alignment with our desires. Through visualization and feeling, we essentially bypass resistance, dissolving doubts that might otherwise block us. By repeatedly living our desire in our minds and embodying the emotions it brings, we build a familiarity with this reality. It becomes not just a distant hope, but something that feels attainable, even natural. This familiarity reshapes our self-concept, allowing us to make decisions, take actions, and adopt habits that are in alignment with our vision. Over time, the gap between our internal world and our external reality narrows, bringing us closer to the realization of our desire. As we engage in this practice, we also emit a distinct energy, one that resonates with the frequency of our goal. The combination of focused visualization and sincere feeling creates a vibration that attracts circumstances, people, and opportunities aligned with our vision. The energy we project outwardly interacts with the world, subtly influencing events in our favor. This is not just about positive thinking, it is an intentional process of tuning our entire being mind, heart and energy toward a specific outcome, calling it into existence through the resonance we create. Visualization and feeling then are not passive acts, they are powerful creative forces that harness the mind's ability to bring forth new realities. Together they form the blueprint and the emotional charge that attract and shape our experiences. Through this practice, we affirm to the universe and to ourselves that our desires are not only possible but already real in the landscape of our inner world, ready to unfold into our external experience. Repetition is a cornerstone of the manifestation process, a method by which desires are deeply etched into the subconscious mind, creating a foundation of belief that drives reality. Each time we repeat an affirmation, visualize an outcome, or focus on a desire, we are programming our mind to accept this vision as a natural part of our identity. Repetition reinforces the strength and clarity of our intention, building it into a mental blueprint that becomes more and more familiar to us. This familiarity transforms our desire from a mere wish into something that feels attainable, something real and accessible. The power of repetition lies in its ability to create lasting impressions on the subconscious. 
Our conscious thoughts can be fleeting and easily dismissed, but when we repeatedly focus on an idea, it gains weight and begins to sink below the surface, becoming embedded within our subconscious framework. The subconscious, in turn, starts to internalize these repeated ideas as truths, even if they initially seem foreign or unattainable. Through consistent repetition, the subconscious mind is gradually persuaded to align with the reality we are envisioning, accepting it as part of our inner identity. Repeatedly focusing on a desire through visualization or affirmation also strengthens neural pathways in the brain. As we continue this practice, we establish mental and emotional habits that support our vision. Just as practicing a skill repeatedly builds muscle memory, repeatedly affirming or visualizing a desire builds mental memory, making it easier and more natural for the brain to return to this desired state. Over time, this shifts our mindset and our daily actions, making us more receptive to opportunities, people, and situations that align with our goal. This internal shift ripples outward, subtly guiding us to take steps that bring our desire closer to fruition. Repetition also helps to overcome resistance, gradually dissolving doubts and limiting beliefs that might otherwise stand in the way. The mind may initially resist new ideas, especially if they challenge existing beliefs, but consistent repetition weakens this resistance, paving the way for new patterns. By frequently immersing ourselves in thoughts and feelings that align with our desires, we train the mind to let go of old, restrictive narratives and replace them with new, empowering ones. With each repetition, the subconscious mind becomes more accepting, more willing to adopt the belief as part of our reality. In addition to solidifying belief, repetition cultivates an emotional resonance with our desired outcome. By repeatedly imagining or affirming a goal, we foster feelings of excitement, confidence and anticipation, which amplify the manifestation process. These emotions serve as a form of energetic alignment, radiating outward and creating an atmosphere that draws our desire closer. The unseen realm, the invisible, energetic dimension that surrounds and permeates us responds to our internal commands with remarkable precision. Though we may not see it, this realm is highly responsive, a field of infinite potential waiting to shape itself around the intentions, beliefs and feelings we hold within. Each thought, every intention, and the emotions we project serve as signals that communicate directly with this unseen field. Like a silent language, our internal commands broadcast our desires, fears, and expectations, and in response, the unseen realm organizes itself to bring forth experiences that align with the frequencies we emit. When we intentionally focus our thoughts and feelings, we are directing a specific vibration into this energetic field. The unseen realm, which operates beyond the limits of time and space, responds by aligning circumstances, encounters, and opportunities that resonate with our internal state. This is why our inner dialogue is so crucial each internal command, whether a conscious affirmation or an unconscious doubt serves as an instruction to the universe. If we affirm abundance, for instance, the unseen realm responds by orchestrating events and connections that reflect this sense of abundance. Conversely, if we dwell on scarcity or fear, the unseen realm adjusts accordingly, bringing experiences that mirror those internal limitations.